Hi everyone, this is Ramakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss APC 2018 linear algebra question number 15 from PAPA 2. And the question is, if capital A is a square matrix of order 4 with uh, debt A is equal to 6 and uh, if debt of adjoint 3A is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta, then alpha plus beta is equals to dash. And the four options are option number 1, 18, option number 2, 15, option number 3, 12 and option number 4, 9. Okay. Now, here the question is about uh, determinant of a matrix. So, first we recall properties of determinant of a matrix. So, in that uh, properties we have first property if capital A is an n by n square matrix and k be any scalar then determinant of k a is equal to k power n into determinant of a. Here n is the order of the given matrix. Here k is a scalar. This is first property. And second one, if A is a matrix, then determinant of A power N is equal to determinant of A whole power N. Your capital A is any matrix, then determinant of A power N, N is some positive integer, then we have determinant of A whole to the power N, second property. And third one, let capital A be a N by N square matrix, then determinant of adjoint A is equal to determinant of A whole to the power N minus 1 your n is the order of the given matrix so to solve the given question we will use these uh, properties of determinant okay so coming to the solution here given a is a matrix of order 4 means that is n is equal to 4 okay you're given that capital a is a matrix for order 4 that is n is equal to 4 with uh, debt a is equal to 6 and if debt of adjoint 3a is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta then we have to find the value of alpha plus beta okay and since we know that determinant of adjoint 3a and this can be written as by using the property determinant of adjoint a is equal to determinant of a whole to the power n minus 1 here n is the order of the matrix so we can write this is uh, determinant of 3a whole to the power 4 minus 1 because order of the given matrix is 4 so we have adjoint of 3a can be written as determinant of 3a whole to the power 4 minus 1 which is equals to determinant of 3a whole to the power 3 whole cube so and by using first condition first property that is whenever a is a matrix of order n and k be any scalar then determinant of k is equal to k power n into order of a and here capital a is a matrix of order 4 and 3 is a scalar so by using this property your determinant of 3a whole cube can be written as this is equals to we can write uh, 3 to the power 4 because k to the power n so that is 3 to the power 4 into determinant of a whole cube okay this is by using first property determinant of k a is equal to k power n into determinant of a and simplification we get this is equals to this can be written as 3 power 4 whole cube that means 3 power 12 into determinant of a whole cube and this is equal to 3 power 12 into determinant of a is 6 so here this is uh, 6 means uh, this can be written as 6 whole cube and for our convenience we can write this is uh, 3 power 12 into 6 can be written as 2 into 3 whole cube so rewriting this this can be written as 2 cube into this is 3 power 12 into 3 power 3 
So this is equals to 2 cube into 3 power 12 plus 3. This is equal to 15. And given that determinant of adjoint 3 is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta. So comparing this with this is equal to 2 power alpha into sorry this is 3 power beta. So we have to find the value of alpha plus beta. So therefore alpha is equal to 3 and beta is equal to 15. So from this we get alpha plus beta is equal to 3 plus 15 which is equals to 18. Okay, that means option number or option number 1 is correct. Is it clear? I hope you like this video. If